Welcome to the darkness. This is the Dark Shadow Ninja. These are my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch, formerly the Nintendo NX, as I did one video on that back when shortly after it was announced. Um, well, it was pretty much a show that there's nothing to talk about yet. Nothing really. So I haven't made a video until now where there's plenty to talk about as we are eight days away from the release of the system. So I'm impressed so far. I'm more than likely going to get one. Um, this is how it is. Like, I'm not going to pre-order one. I'm going to go to the store and try to buy one. And if I can get one, awesome. If I can't, oh well. Um, I'm not in a rush to get one. Um, but that's not to say that the system is rubbish or anything like that. It's just that, you know, I'm very weary on getting any anything, especially console-based, like launch day. Um, the only thing I can recall that I got some around the launch time was the new 3ds and no regrets for that so far but everything else um i got the wii u late in its launch which is the best time to get it um i got the wii u late in its launch also the best time to get it so uh playstation 3 i got way late <laughs> in its launch and then eventually sold it uh but that was the best time to get that and I'll likely do the same with the PlayStation Pro 4 Pro. So I'm looking at I'm looking at the PS4 Pro for um, HDR essentially. Uh, plan on getting a 4K HDR TV this year at some point in time. Um, maybe within the next next few weeks. Um, plan on grabbing one of those. I do plan on getting a Switch for myself and my children because uh, they love the Wii U. And I got plenty of use out of the Wii U myself. Uh, but anyways, back, back, we'll get back to the PS4 Pro in another video. Um, the Switch. Why, do, why am I interested in the Nintendo Switch right now? The main reason is the ability to play it anywhere. Like play a game as big as Skyrim anywhere. Skyrim Remastered. That is amazing to me. Uh, being able to play RPG like that on the go yes sign me up for that um the one thing that and uh that led me to get it as well was voice acting in this in zelda finally there are a lot of people who are like oh i never want voice acting oh i have link better not ever speak i'm not one of such people i highly would prefer to have link speak um and i highly prefer to be listening to voice actors over reading text uh it's, it's more immersive and better on easier on the eyes so that way i could take in all the visuals of the game instead of reading the text and then looking around reading the text again and then looking around I, I never enjoyed that kind of gameplay um so that was a big huge plus for me uh the nut the joy cons the joy cons are essentially smaller lighter um more fun functional uh, what's the word i'm looking for more versatile Wiimotes. So they're still, they still have motion tracking. They still have IR pointers, but they have something called HD rumble, which I'm excited for. Um, Cause I can, well, I, I can't say that. Cause even though it's a cool feature, what games will be using it? That's the, that I can see a lot of cool features uh, for that game, for that use in video games, but will developers, and that's what counts. Um, that was the problem with the, both the Wii and the Wii U, they had really cool features, but how many people are taking advantage of the features, you know, that they don't take advantage of the features and it's a waste. Uh, so hopefully more people take advantage of the HD rumble. We'll see. You know, time will tell on that. Uh, other than the HD rumble, um, they look very uncomfortable to use sideways, you know, as one controller. But I hear that they're not that bad. You know, not that bad as... This is what kind of has me on the ass side. It's like, I don't, I'm not paying any amount of money for not that bad. <laughs> you know, I want I want something that's comfortable and functional. You know, I'm even paying money for a product and I expect it to be of use. Um, reasonable use. So we'll, I, I will have to wait to see for myself to see how that feels. Um, I prefer the smaller controllers myself anyways, but we'll see. Um, other than that, I, I, I say that's about it. Those are my thoughts on this uh, Nintendo Switch thus far. Um, 
the storage yeah i bet i knew the storage would be an issue uh, people are gonna have to invest in micro sd cards if they want uh if they want to be playing their games right off the system instead of swapping out the cartridges which i'm i'm not sure how i will how i feel about that it seems like they're going for like a steam um uh, type of type of um drm where you can sign in to, with your account and then all the games you've downloaded are tied to that account so that's really really cool i definitely uh definitely see the benefits of that um that way you don't have to worry about losing the game cartridges or anything like that and um also speaking of game cartridges also glad they're going with cartridges as opposed to this as um i never thought i don't I haven't used a disc in forever <laughs> on like any platform. Um, usually just download it and then begin using it. There's no real reason to have a disc anymore. Um, and especially like on the other consoles, when you buy a disc, you install it on your console anyways. But this is really just, you know, physical DRM. It's cool that you can take it back to the store and, you know, trade it for another game and things like that. But that's the only use, the only benefit I see. Um, you know, most I try to do most of my gaming library being built by good old games where I actually own the game. I download it, then I have it. It's mine. I don't have to worry about any kind of DRM. Uh, like I can sell it to somebody, sell the the serial number, and I don't have to worry about me not being online and then them taking my game away from me and things weird stuff like that. So. Uh, that's one one another reason why I'm interested in having cartridge based games. And then I hear that um, the cartridge uh, runs faster than the disc based technology, so that'd be cool to look at too. So I'm looking looking forward to the switch. Gonna grab one. It's gonna be cool to play meet up with all you guys um, with your own switches and then do multiplayer that way. We both have our own screen and then come home and just, you know slide it into the the dock and then play it off of the the big screen Papa.